What's good? This is Knowledge for the Butch Femme Discussion. This week we are talking about sexuality and I have a guest with me, my muse, Cal Bell. Um, she's going to help me head this video off and I guess I'm just going to get right to it. You know, no beating around the bush. Let's talk about our sexuality. Let's talk about our sexuality, <laughs> shall we? Okay. So, um, how do we personify it? Because sexuality is personified yeah. through the self. So, I don't know. I, I wanted to get a different perspective this week. I wanted to get the perspective of the woman that knows me better than any other, say for one. So, how do you think I personify my sexuality? Just as far as sexuality goes. I mean, everyday life, like, do you think that my sexuality plays in a big role? It plays in, in the roles that, that we assume. How do you identify? Just for the viewers. Oh, I'm a femme. I'm this a is my big hot stud. <laughs> really? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So, how do I personify my sexuality? I think my sexuality is personified probably everything that I do in my life. Because, basically, being a stud, identifying as a masculine lesbian, identifying is only one part of it. You live it. You are it. It is a being within you. Something that you, you know, you just, you breathe life into every single day because that's who you are. That's who I am. So, being a sexual lesbian woman who desires other women, um, being more masculine in the, in the lesbian spectrum, it, it does, um, on a daily day-to-day -day basis, I feel like I walk about with a lot more confidence probably than the average woman. I'm sure than the average woman. Um, I, you know, my swagger is not in the clothes that I wear or the shoes that I walk in. It's in the words that I write and the knowledge that I attain. And, um, you know, I, my name, I go by knowledge. That's my street name. And it's not because I think I know it is quite the opposite. It is because it is that which I seek. You spend That's your it. time finding out and about I, something before yeah. you talk about it. So, and <laughs> I mean, I, you know, that explains that. Basically, my my swagger and my sexuality go hand in hand. It's it's when you feel confident, you are confident. When you, you know, a little bit cocky, but also humble at the same time. Because I definitely have to balance that out. I am humble. But I'm also very confident. And, you know, normally I don't speak on something unless I damn well know what I'm talking about. So, and the same goes for, for being sexual. My swagger has everything to do with me knowing what I'm good at, what I'm the best at, and capitalizing off of that over and over. You're, you you're very talented at pleasing your partner. Okay, very well, talented. I'm a pleaser. And that's, I think that pretty much personifies my sexuality, is that um, I love to please, I aim to please. And that's because basically, until a certain woman came along in my life, I had never really been pleased the way that I had wanted to. I am so serious. Like, <laughs> my story, you know, I wrote a blog post on... Um, orgasms, you know, women who fake orgasm, you know, and I'm one of those butches. Yes, I, I am very confident. I'm confident in my skills and my ability to, you know, exude my sexuality when the when it comes down to it, when we get in the mood and we're doing the horizontal polka. <laughs> Sexual swagger, you, you pet them and prod them, make them feel good, make them want you. You uh, make love to them with your words, make them want more. That's what you do. 
But you can back it <laughs> with your actions. <laughs> and then some. Mm -hmm. Wow, so great, I think it's broke now. <laughs>